Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Here's a really interesting question. If x to the power of x to the power of 8 is equal to 8, solve for x, or x is a positive real number. I saw this on Reddit Ask Math. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. I first want to review an important point. If you have a to the power of b to the power of c, this means to evaluate b to the power of c first. In other words, you could put a parenthesis around b to the power of c. This will not be the same thing if you have a to the power of b as a group term raised to the power of c. So for example, Let's say you have 2 to the power of 3 squared. You need to evaluate 3 squared first. So this is equal to 2 to the power of 9, which is then equal to 512. Now, if instead you had 2 to the power of 3 grouped first and you square that, then you would be taking 2 to the power of 3 first. 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 8. Then 8 squared will be equal to 64. So you can see that these two things are not the same thing. You want to evaluate the exponents going from the top. So how do we solve our problem? We have x to the power of x to the power of 8 is equal to 8. Now one thing we could do is we could graph it. We can see here we just have positive real values of x. This is going to grow exponentially. The line y is equal to 8 is a straight line, and the two graphs intersect exactly once. So if we go down to the x value, we can estimate that it's approximately equal to 1.3. Now how do we get a better value for this? How do we solve this equation? So I just want to briefly illustrate how you can solve this problem numerically in a spreadsheet. This isn't the best way to go about it, but there are times in life your boss may order you to put something in a spreadsheet so that you could show to the client. So let's just say you're stuck on a desert island and you only have access to a spreadsheet. How can you numerically estimate the answer? So let's say you set cell A1 to be the value x, and then B1 we're going to say is the value of x to the power of the term x to the power of eight. You wanna make sure you group these exponents because Excel would otherwise go from left to right, which is not correct. So we know that the answer is approximately 1.3, and we're going to take this value to the power of the same value to the power of 8. So we end up with 8.5. Now we want this to be 8 by changing the value of x. So in order to do that, you go to the Data tab, What If Analysis, and Goal Seek. So we want to set the value of b2 to be equal to 8, and we want to do this by changing the value of a2. So we click OK, and it's going to do some computation, and it ends up giving us an approximate solution of 1.2968, and this is actually very, very close to the actual answer. So this is just an interesting way that you could solve it in spreadsheets. So now that we know that this does have a real solution, we're not gonna to be too worried about things like convergence. We're just going to have a little bit of fun. So let's take a look at this problem. We have eight as an exponent here, but we also look at the entire equation that eight is equal to x to the power of x to the power of eight. So what if we took this eight and we substituted x to the power of x to the power of 8, because 8 is equal to x to the power of x to the power of 8. So let's just substitute in. We end up with x to the power of 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 8, and that is equal to 8. But why would we stop here? We again have 8 in the exponent, and we know that 8 is exactly equal to the entire left side. So we could substitute one more time. 
So let's just bring in this eight and we're going to substitute in again. So I'm going to have to move this around to create some room and we want to substitute in the entire left-hand side for eight. So we go ahead and substitute in and we end up with x to the power of 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 eight. This is all equal to eight. So you can imagine we could continue this pattern. So if we take the limit, we would end up with something like x to the power of x to the power of x repeated infinitely many times is all equal to eight. But now, even though it looks like we've made progress, we've run into a problem. This equation actually has no solution. If you take a look at the graph of x to the power of x to the power of x infinitely many times, it looks something like this. There is no solution for this graph being equal to eight. The y values have a minimum of one over e, which is approximately 0.37, and the maximum value is e, which is approximately 2.72. So you'll never get this equation being equal to eight. So somewhere we've made a mistake, but that's okay. When you try and work out a problem, you don't always get to the solution right away but it might inspire you to think of a problem solving technique. So let's start all over from first principles. Let's think about the equation x to the power of eight is equal to eight. We have an eight in the exponent and we know that the entire left-hand side is equal to eight. So we can substitute in x to the power of eight for eight. If we do that, we get our original equation x to the power of x to the power of eight is equal to eight. So if we could somehow solve the equation x to the power of eight is equal to eight, we will have found a solution to x to the power of x to the power of eight is equal to eight. To do that, we take both sides of the equation to the power of one over eight, so that we get x is equal to eight to the power of one over eight, which is approximately equal to 1.297. So if you didn't see this trick directly, here's another way you could solve the problem. Let's do the substitution y is equal to x to the power of eight. So we could substitute in y for the exponent. So we have x to the y is equal to eight. But if y is equal to x to the power of eight, we can take both sides to the power of one over eight so that x is equal to y to the power of one over eight. We can then substitute in here. So we have y to the power of one over eight raised to the power of y is equal to eight. We have a power raised to a power, so we can multiply them. So we get y raised to the power of y over eight is equal to eight. Now let's take both sides to the power of eight. Again, we have a power to a power, so we multiply that through. So this will be y to the power of y is equal to eight to the power of eight. And now we can easily see that y is equal to eight is a solution. So substituting that in, we get x is equal to eight to the power of one over eight. And that's the answer. Now let's just generalize this. Suppose we have x to the power of a is equal to a. Here, x and a are positive real numbers. Now, the exponent a is exactly equal to the entire left-hand side, which is x to the power of a. So we can substitute in to x to the power of x to the power of a is equal to a. We could of course substitute in again for the exponent a, and then we would get x to the power of x to the power of x to the power of a is equal to a. So we can see all of these equations would have the same solution as x to the power of a is equal to a. And of course, that first equation can be solved by taking both sides to the power of one over a, so you get x is equal to a to the power raised to the one over a. So just for fun, I will end the video with a couple of challenges. What if you had x to the power of x to the power of three is equal to three? Then x to the power of x to the power of x to the power of pi is equal to pi. What's the answer? Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.